The F-145 underwing pressure fueling nozzle is a new product for Megat. It is an upgrade on the F-116 and F-117, predecessors that were made by Theme Industries and Parker Hannafin. Megat still makes the F-116 and F-117, which share many parts with Megat's F-145. This video will discuss the swivel assembly replacement, the on-off handle shaft o-ring seal replacement, and the nose seal assembly replacement, all for the F-145. Regardless of the specific model, there are a few general guidelines to observe. Do your maintenance in a clean work area. Always wear safety glasses while working on equipment. Only lubricate seals and o-rings with petroleum jelly. The use of other lubricants may damage the seals or other components in the system. Never roll or twist o-rings or quad rings. Rolling an o-ring can damage its integrity. When replacing the o-rings, carefully slide the ring into place and gently stretch it out and seat it into its groove. When replacing o-rings or seals, immediately discard or destroy old parts. Never reuse an o-ring or seal. Always use Megat factory parts. Every nozzle has an overhaul kit, a nose seal kit, and a swivel seal kit designed for that nozzle only. Do not swap parts between different kits. Only use solvents and shop air supply as cleaning agents. When in doubt, always refer to the nozzle service manual during an overhaul. The Swivel Assembly O-Ring Replacement The items you'll need include a ball bearing tool for replacement of the ball bearings, a T-handle Allen wrench to open the retaining screw access port for the ball bearings, a pick or screwdriver for removing the seals, and a small cup to hold the 39 ball bearings housed in the nozzle. Insert the T-handle Allen wrench and remove the retaining screw covering the ball bearings near the top of the nozzle housing. Once the screw is removed, remove the O-ring with your fingers. Use a small cup to catch the ball bearings as they come out of the nozzle. Tip the nozzle assembly slightly and rotate the top of the assembly, catching the 39 ball bearings as they come out. Once all 39 ball bearings have been removed, the swivel top can safely be removed from the body of the nozzle. If all 39 ball bearings are not removed, the swivel top cannot be removed. With the top removed, there are three pieces that will be replaced. First will be the O-ring seal, which is removed by a small pick or screwdriver. That is the only part that will be removed from the inside of the nozzle body. The swivel top has two parts that must be removed, the Teflon wiper seal and the O-ring. Remove the Teflon wiper seal with a sharp pick or other instrument. You may cut the Teflon wiper seal as it will be thrown away and replaced, but be careful not to damage the metal body of the swivel itself. Next, remove the smaller diameter O-ring the same way, with the same instrument. The O-ring should also be thrown away, as it will be replaced. You will now reinstall the new Teflon wiper seal and the two O-rings included in the replacement kit. To reinstall, begin with the O-ring, being sure to cover it with a fine coat of petroleum jelly. Next, reinstall the Teflon wiper seal, again with petroleum jelly. Now reinstall the larger O-ring to the inside of the nozzle assembly, covering it with petroleum jelly. Replace the 39 ball bearings utilizing the ball bearing tool. Reload the ball bearings into the tool carefully. Install the spring into the body. Insert the swivel top into the body of the nozzle, firmly and evenly. With the swivel top securely in place, screw the tool carefully into the nozzle body, being sure not to screw in too tightly and cause the bottom of the tool to mushroom out and render it inoperable for further use. Finger tight is fine. Tilt the nozzle up and rotate the swivel top slowly to release the ball bearings back into the chamber.
remove the ball bearing tool, and replace the O-ring and retaining cap screw. Make sure the swivel top still swivels, and you are finished. The F-145 Nose Seal Replacement The nose seal replacement is the most common maintenance procedure on the F-145. It's important to note that there are two configurations of the F-145. One with a three-slot configuration, the other with a six-slot configuration. The procedure for changing the nose seal is exactly the same for each configuration. The nose seal assembly is the same for the F-145, the F-116, and the F-117, and the parts are interchangeable. After you've examined the nose seal and checked its connector with the connector gauge, you can replace the nose seal as follows. To release the nozzle's interlock, insert the nose seal tool into the connector and rotate it clockwise. With the interlock released, turn the poppet operating handle to the open position and the poppet will rise. Remove the cotter pin that holds the poppet in position. When removing cotter pins and seals during a repair, always discard the used part. Never reuse the cotter pins or seals. Once the cotter pin is removed, unscrew the poppet and set it aside. Close the lever to retract the poppet shaft. Close the nozzle. Remove the nose seal assembly with a gentle prying action. The poppet and the nose seal assembly have been removed. On the F-145 nozzles, there is a single nose seal assembly. Discard the single nose seal assembly after removing it. On the F-116 and F-117, there are multiple parts of the nose seal. Remove the metal parts of the nose seal and discard the three O-rings. Install a new O-ring on the new nose seal assembly, being careful not to roll the O-ring. Lubricate the nose seal assembly and O-ring with petroleum jelly. Install the nose seal assembly and press it into place. Lift the poppet shaft by rotating the poppet operating handle. Screw the poppet in until it bottoms out. There is no adjustment. Insert a new cotter pin into the poppet and shaft and bend the cotter pin. Close the poppet and rotate the nozzle to the closed position. The nose seal replacement procedure is now complete. The on-off O-ring replacement procedure. Remove the bumper by removing the three screws holding it in place. Remove the screw that holds the on-off operating handle shaft assembly. Internally remove the cotter pin, cap screw, and cap washer. The next step is to remove the shaft assembly. Utilizing a small pick, remove the white Teflon washer. Remove the O-ring from the handle shaft. The removal of the handle shaft assembly is now complete. To reassemble and reinstall the on-off operating handle shaft assembly, Replace the O-ring into the handle shaft area with a new one. Be sure to cover it with a fine film of petroleum jelly. Reinstall the Teflon washer on the handle shaft assembly. Screw on the handle with a screw and washer. Screw on the bumper. The three essential replacements and repairs have now been completed.